What's up my Koopa Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to some Plants vs. Zombies! Guys, we have defeated everything in this game, I am so pumped! This is the final episode of the Plants vs. Zombies Let's Play, I really hope you guys have all enjoyed this Let's Play, we've done everything in this game, I've shown it all off a couple of times in a couple of different ways, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed. In this last episode, what we're going to be doing is just showing you a couple of the other random parts of the game that are not uh, necessarily gameplay related. First I'm going to go through achievements, then I'm going to show you a little bit of the Zen Garden, then I'm going to read through the Almanac because that's all really funny. So let's go ahead and do that guys. I'll show you the achievements first, you guys have seen these a couple of times. What I did while I was playing through the game was make sure to try and do a couple of these here and there and I, I, I did most of the, all of them actually, I'm pretty proud of how it is. Now a lot of you guys have been begging or asking for 100% achievements, I am not an achievement hunter, I do not care to get all achievements in a game, however I respected your guys opinions and tried to get many of them and in fact I did get most of them. There are a couple ones I'm missing, we'll go through and talk about those ones and I'll explain why I didn't get them. <laughs> so you guys can see, uh, I'm not going to read through all of these, you can see what uh, what I've done. One of the cool ones here is uh, the Peking Express got down to China in 4.12 seconds. Now that's just starting at the start here and just going foom as fast you can all the way down like this. I won't do it right now. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys can probably get two seconds or something like that. I don't know. For me it's okay. But you can see all these other achievements we have gotten. All these have been uh, completed. Now over here on the side you can see Lucky Spin get three diamonds in slot machine. I'm not going to lie guys, I actually did about three or four hours more of the slot machine on my own, not recorded as part of the LP, and I was never able to get the lucky spin. I have gotten it before when I've previously played the game, but I reset all my stats to go ahead and do this LP, and I was not able to get that achievement this time around. It's purely luck based, and I know people that have been playing it for months and haven't gotten that. Like Not, not like every day for months, but you know, had the game for months, tried getting that achievement, and haven't gotten it. It's not worth it to me to sit around for hours playing Slot Machine, which is not my favorite mini game, to try and get that achievement. Um, Enlighten, collect all Zen Garden, Mushroom Garden, and Aquarium Garden plants. That's a very, very difficult achievement. Very difficult. Uh, I've gotten a lot of plants from playing the game, as you guys have seen, but to get all of them, you really need to just keep playing and spend a lot of money and keep trying to get plants. This one would just take time. It's possible, but it just is a time-intensive one. Uh... Better off dead, get to a streak of 10 and I zombie endless. I could do that. I think we got to a streak of what, six or seven, something like that, maybe seven. So I could do that. I didn't do an amazing job. I probably could do that one. The China shop get to a streak of 15 and vase breaker endless. Uh, I only got to six. So that might not have been so possible for me. Uh, I think if I tried a little bit harder a couple times, I probably could still do it. Uh, but you know, I didn't do very well in the let's play of it. Other than that guys, we did every other achievement. And you can see there are quite a lot of achievements to do in the game and a lot of these involve in the let's play where we did things like, you know, um, I would let the, I would try different things out. I would use only mushrooms in a daytime level or use only day plants in a nighttime level. All these kind of different achievements that you can do in the game, we tried out in the let's play. And so I really appreciate you guys asking me to try them all out. We did. I am more than happy with what we've accomplished. Uh, like I said, I think I could get done those other two ones. But these Lucky Spin ones and Enlightened ones are really, to be honest, are pain in the asses. And I don't really feel like doing the the Endless ones again because those are also pain in the asses. So I, I am totally okay with the achievements. I hope you guys are as well. Please forgive me if you wanted 100% achievements. You know how to do them. I've shown you how to get them. I don't feel like it's necessary for me to do them because it's kind of just a waste of my time. And I, to be honest, I want to get I want to get onto bigger and better things. All right, guys. Having shown you the achievements, let's move on to the Zen Garden. You can see that we actually have quite a lot of plants going on right now. That happens from last time when we did Last Stand Endless. Now, you guys have seen Zen Garden numerous times throughout the Let's Play as I've kind of jumped to it to collect some money and everything. So what you can do here, you can do here is you can wake up Stinky the Snail by just tapping on him. He's pretty slow at first, but if you give him some chocolate, come here Stinky, he uh, moves around at the speed of light, so I don't know why he's a snail. We couldn't have hired anything else. Well, it's pretty basic as you guys probably know, you just water the plants and things like that. If they need water, you give them water. I like to move all the plants, if I could do it, over to kind of not one side, but at least in groups of four, because that makes it easier to water them. So like, I'll move this guy up. Um, well, apparently I won't move him anywhere. I keep clicking apparently above it. So I will. I like to move them like right there, let's say. So that works out well for that. And then the rest of them, you just water. Now the ones that are glowing have been fully watered, saturated, food given, all that kind of stuff. The only reason they're there for are still glowing is that they will give you some extra coins every once in a while. 
so you can leave them there, but you can also just sell them. And I probably I will be selling those in a little bit to show you guys the price value of all the things. Now, besides for this main Zen Garden area, as you can see, there's a lot of watering to do here. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more of it. The jalapeno looks like he's on drugs, man. He's he's freaking freaking out down there. Oh boy, man. Oh boy. So you can see, like, actually collecting a little bit of coins is not really worth anything. It's not worth that much. Uh, when they do grow up, they give you diamonds sometimes, as well as other coins. So that, that's pretty useful. I'll go ahead and show you some other stuff. If we go here to the right, you can see we have the night levels, where you can collect the night plants that will not grow in the other area. And if you come over here, you can come to the water area. And you can see that my lily pad is now fully grown. Hooray. And so what you can do here is you can come and click on the sell button and sell it. And Crazy Dave, I'll give you 10,000 coins for that lily pad. You say yes, you just made yourself 10,000 coins. That's why it's awesome when you find uh, plants while playing the game. Because you can sell them for 8,000 coins if you're willing to try. So Stinky collected uh, 30 coins. Thanks, Stinky. You can go ahead and just spray that. There you go. Give me a coin. This one wants some music for some reason. I don't know why a plant cares. We can go ahead and give this one some food. And we can go water these guys. Now you have to wa watering doesn't grow them up, but it does get them to the next point where they need water or food or or something. You can see most of the ones on the top there are now fully grown. Another thing you can do is you can come over to uh, Crazy Dave's shop right here. Go to the shop. We're gonna need a couple more spray ones. Let's go ahead and buy a couple here, as well as maybe some more food packets. He's out. He's out of those. Okay. You can also buy a couple of plants from him. These are just marigold ones. They're only 2,500. Those will grow into marigolds and come over to the next. And you can see we got some uh, plant things down here. Mystery sprout goes in your Zen garden. This is just a pure mystery one. It could be one of anything. So you go say yes to that. It's still probably a good deal because you'll probably sell it for 8,000. Here's a bronze mystery one. This has a 25% chance of turning into a plant you don't own yet. Uh, we can go ahead and grab that one. And here's a 30,000 one. Silver Mysteries has a 50% chance. And then this one is the gold one, which has a 100% chance of turning into a plant you don't have yet. So we'll go ahead and buy one of all of those. You can see how much money that just cost me, but we we're pretty much kind of done with the game. So you can see now we have a pretty much a full Zen garden right here. Let's go ahead and find out what those new plants we just got were. That one had a 100% chance of growing into a plant I didn't own, and I just watered things that didn't need water. Not that it matters. However, they're like, what the hell? I didn't need that fool. Let's go over here in a watering spree. I want, I'm actually interested to find out what these plants are. Down here, these ones with the sprouts are definitely the marigolds, so I'm not, I know what they're going to be. Let's go ahead and uh, give these guys food, see what they are. All right, it's a little pea shooter, and it's a garlic. Cool, my life feels better already. But that's not the new ones we got. I think the new ones are the ones over here, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember which ones I have and have not gotten, to be honest. I just kind of water things and sell them for money. So let's see here. We can, you can tell we spent about just a, a, a close to a hundred thousand, right? Or probably ninety thousand or so on stuff. I can sell all these plants at the top here as well. That was a. See, these two ones are sleeping. That's because they are night shrooms and they will not grow in this uh, area right here. It's kind of annoying. So what we need to do is move them over. What you're gonna do is go ahead onto the cart, click on them, move them over. There we go. Move that there. We'll go ahead and feed this guy while he's in here. Yeah, you can see it grew up a little bit. Come back over here. Stinky, thanks for collecting all that coins. We'll go grab this guy and move him over here. Yeah, it's kind of a lot of extra work. I don't know. Zen Garden is okay with me. The only reason I like doing it is the it is the best way of making extra money here and there. Now, one of those apparently I shouldn't have had. I don't know. Move this guy over. Maybe I didn't have one of these guys. I don't Where did it? Come on, plant it. There you go. All right, so now we're back over here. Thanks, Stinky, for all the hard work. I will go ahead and sell those plants up there at the top. They're still giving some uh, coins every once in a while, though. Here's that three-peater. So let's go ahead and sell these guys. 8,000, thank you. 8,000, yes. 8,000, okay. This one up here is probably 8,000 as well. It's not glowing, uh, but that's okay. It still is for its full price at that point. 3,000 is for the marigold is, three, is full price. And you can see now we're kind of making that money back we just had. Granted, I bought these or had these from before, so these weren't part of the new set I just bought. But you can see where this is how you make your money. So now after having a couple of these uh, plants and selling them all, I can now like afford a mini game. So let's say you didn't have a mini game, now you can afford one. So that's kind of the cool reason of doing that. I really want to find out which one of these plants is. Is it that one down there that I didn't have? I don't know. Well, see, now I'd have to move these around to make it easier for me to water and stuff and not make... Uh, what's his face? Stinky, move so far. 
There we go. Let's go ahead and give these guys some food pellets. All right. It was a... It probably was a chomper. I'm not sure if I had... I'm not sure I had a chomper yet. I don't know. Maybe I had that? It definitely wasn't the planter, because apparently I have two of them now. So it probably was the chomper I didn't have. Or maybe it was the garlic. I don't know. It was one of the two of those. I don't know. One of those I didn't have. I definitely had marigold. So, yeah, it was one of those. Like I said, I'll just grow those up myself on a later time, and... Uh, I'll sell them for money. So there you go. That's that is the Zen garden guys that officially is everything in the Zen garden Essentially, you can just keep buying plants Like I said if I wanted to get the enlightened one I'd have to keep pretty much buying either the 50 or the 50% chance one or the 100% chance one But at 50,000 coins, it's rather expensive and maybe not necessarily worth it All right guys and the last thing I was gonna do for you is read the almanac because a lot of you guys have been what the I didn't click on that I clicked on the almanac is a lot of you guys have been asking for me to read it because a lot of it's pretty funny. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go through the plants first and I'll go over the zombies. Ah, let's see, I'll just read this stuff in red because the first part in blue is just tells you the generic things of what they do. The red things are the funny parts. <clears throat> How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Pea Shooter says, Hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well-balanced breakfast of sunlight and high fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. Sunflower can't resist bouncing to the beat. Which beat is that? Why, the life-giving jazzy rhythm of the earth itself, thumping at a frequency only Sunflower can hear. I want to explode, says Cherry number one. No, let's detonate instead, says his brother. Cherry number two, after intense consul uh, uh, con consultation, sorry, they agree to explanate. Explodinate. There you go. Do some of these have other ones? Okay, they do have some stuff. I didn't really realize it, but you just kind of scroll down. People wonder how I feel about getting constantly chewed on by zombies, says Walnut. What they don't realize is that with my limited senses, all I can feel is kind of a tingling, like a relaxing back rub. So there you go, Walnut. But I don't believe that, because he cries. Now, who cries during a relaxing back rub? I don't know. Some folks say Potato Mine is lazy. That he leaves everything to the last minute. Potato Mine says nothing. He's too busy thinking about his investment strategy. Oh! I didn't even read that! Oh! Oh! I said, like, the entire time I played this game, I said, like, he's an investment strategy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even read that. That's awesome. That's pretty funny. Folks often tell Snoopy how cool he is or extort him to chill out. They tell him to stay frosty. Snoopy just rolls his eyes. He's heard them all. Chomper almost got a gig doing stunts in Hollywood, but it fell through through his agent when his agent demanded too much on the front end. Chomper's not resentful, though. He says it's just part of the business. Ah, uh, Repeater is fierce. He's from the streets. He doesn't take attitude from anybody, plant or zombie, and he shoots peas to keep people at a distance. Secretly, though, Repeater yearns for love. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Puff Shroom. I only recently became aware of the existence of zombies, says Puff Shroom. Like many fungi, I just assumed they were fairy tales or movie monsters. This whole experience has been a huge eye-opener for me. Sunshroom hates sun. He hates it so much that when he builds up in his system, he spits out as fast as he can. He just won't abide it. To him, sun is crass. Ah, uh, let's see here. I was in a dead-end job producing yeast spores for a factory, says Fume Shroom. Then Puff Shroom, bless him, told me about this great opportunity blasting zombies. Now I really feel like I'm making a difference. Ah, uh, despite Gravebuster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his off hours volunteering at a local zombie rehabil rehabilitation center. Ah, uh, it's just the right thing to do, he says. <laughs> Sorry, all my voice is getting shot, guys. I've been playing a lot of Plants vs. Zombies recently. Zombies are our friends, asserts Hypno Shroom. They're badly misunderstood creatures who play a valuable role in our ecology. We can, uh, we can and should do more to bring them round to our way of thinking. Who, who's there? whispers Scaredy Shroom. Voice barely audible. Go, go away. I don't want to see anybody unless it's the man from the circus. Weird. Ice Shroom frowns, not because he's unhappy or because he disapproves, but because of a childhood injury that left his facial nerves paralyzed. That's pretty sad. Uh, you're lucky I'm on your side, says Doom Shroom. I could destroy everything you hold dear. It wouldn't be hard. It wouldn't be, dude. You plant him right in the middle, everything's gone. Lily Pad never complains. Lily Pad never wants to know what's going on. Put a plant on top of Lily Pad, he won't say a thing. Does he have a startling opinions or shocking secrets? Nobody knows. Lily Pad keeps it all inside. I'm ready, yell Squash. Let's do it. Put me in. There's nobody better. I'm your guy. Come on, what are you waiting for? I need this. Three Peter Lakes riding, backgammon, and long periods of immob immob immobility in the park. Three Peter enjoys going to shows, particularly modern jazz. I'm just looking for that special someone, he says. Three Peter's favorite number is five. Weird. 
I'm totally invisible, Tangle Kelp thinks to himself. I'll hide here just below the surface and nobody will see me. His friends tell him that they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. Way to go, Tangle Kelp. Yeah, Kelpenia says, but he's not going to explode, not this time, but soon. Oh, so soon. He, it's close. He knows it. He can feel it. His whole life's been leading up to this moment. Hokey is, hockey is Spikeweed's obsession. Yo, he's got box seat season tickets. He keeps close track of his favorite players. And he constantly cleans up in the office hockey pool. Just one problem. He's terrified of pucks. Everybody likes and respects, respects Torchwood. They like him for his integrity, for his steadfast friendship, and for his ability to greatly maximize P damage. But Torchwood has a secret. He can't read. Ooh, how bad. Uh, people wonder if there's a rivalry between Walnut and Tallnut. Tallnut laughs a rich baritone laugh. <laughs> how could there be anything between us? We are brothers, if you knew what Walnut has done for me. Tallnut's voice trails off and he smiles knowingly. Sea Shroom has uh, never seen the sea, but it's in his name. He's heard loads about it, but he's just never found the time. One day, though, it'll go down. It'll go down. Plantern defies science. He just does. Other plants eat light and excrete oxygen. Plantern eats darkness and excretes light. Plantern's cagey about how he does it. I'm not going to say sorcery. I wouldn't use the term dark forces. I just... I think I've said enough. She's prickly, sure, but cactuses... Cacti's? Cactuses, spikes... Belial a spongy heart filled with love and goodwill. She just wants to hug and be hugged. Most folks can't hang with that, but Cactus doesn't mind. She's been seeing an armadillo for a while, and it really seems to be working out. Cool, I'm glad their love is blossoming like a flower. Ah, when, Blower, when Blover was five, he got a shiny new birthday cake. Blover made his wish, huffed and puffed, but was able to extinguish only 60% of the candles. Instead of giving up, though, he's used that early defeat as a catalyst to push himself harder forward ever since. Ho oh, ho! Split peas. Yeah! I'm a Gemini, says Split Pea. I know, big surprise, but having two heads, or or, or really one head with a with a large head-like growth in the back, pays off big in my line of work. Oh man, it's a starfruit. I went to the dentist the other day and he said I have four cavities. I gotta count count it! One tooth! Four cavities and one tooth! How does this even happen, man? Pumpkin. Pumpkin hasn't heard from his cousin Reinfeld lately. Apparently Renfield's a big star, some kind of, what was it, sports hero? Peggle master? Pumpkin doesn't really get it, he just does his job. <clears throat> Magnetism is a powerful force, very powerful. Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little. He's not sure if he can handle that kind of responsibility. Cabbage Pole is okay with launching cabbages at zombies. It's what he's paid for, after all, and he's good at it. He just doesn't understand how zombies get up on the roof in the first place. Yo, I don't either, cabbage guy. Yo, I'm your pot for planting yet. I'm also a plant. Has your mind exploded yet? Woohoo! Colonel Polt is the oldest of the uh, or the eldest of the Polt brothers of the of the three of them. Colonel is the only one constantly reminding the others' birthdays, or he constantly remembers them. He bugs them about it a little too, so I guess he is reminding them and being annoying. Oh, coffee bean. Hey, 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 guys! Hey, 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 hey! What's up? Hey, who's that? Hey, did you see that thing? Yo, what? Whoa, whoa, lions! Yeah, woohoo! Lying diversion isn't just Garlic's profession, it's his passion. He carries an advanced doctorate in redirection from the Brussels University. He'll talk all day about lane vectors and repulse arrays. He even pushes things into alternate avenues at home. Somehow his wife puts up with it. Sproing! Says Umbrella Leaf, did you like that? I can do it again, Sproing! Woohoo! That's me popping up to break stuff around me. Yeah, just like that, exactly like that. Believe it, says Naruto. Marigold spends a lot of time deciding whether to spit out a silver coin or a gold one. She thinks about it, weighs the angle, she, doesn't, she does solid research and keeps up with current publications. That's how winners stay ahead. We should give more gold coins, by the way. Ah, there's no false modesty with melon pulp. Son, for damage, I deliver the biggest punch on the lawn, he says. I'm not bragging, run the numbers, you'll see. It's true, melon pulp does the most damage. Gatling's peas were concerned when he announced his intention to join the military. But honey, it's so dangerous, they said in unison. Gatling P refused to budge. Life is dangerous, he replied, eyes glinting with steely conviction. In a crazed night of forbidden science that brought twin sunflower into existence, thunder crashed overhead, strange lights flickered, even the very roaring wind seemed to hiss its angry denial, but to no avail. Twin sunflower was alive. ALIVE! I've always enjoyed releasing heavy fumes, says Gloom Shroom. I know a lot of people aren't cool with that. They say it's rude or that it smells bad, as I can say. Would you rather have your brain eaten by zombies? Woof, says Cattail. Woof, woof, woof. Does this confuse you? 
Do you expect me to say meow like a cat just because the word cat is in my name and I also look like a cat? That's not how things work around here. I refuse to be pigeonholed. Wintermelon tries to calm his nerves. He hears the zombies approach. Will he make it? Will anybody make it? Ooh. Dark, deep secrets from Wintermelon. Ah, how did I end up here? Asked Gold Magnet. I was on the fast track. Corner office, full benefits, stock options. I was going to be vice president of Midwestern operations. Now I'm here on this lawn in serious danger of being eaten to death. Oh, a coin. Spike Rock just got back from his trip to Europe. He had a great time, met some wonderful people, really broadened his horizons. He never knew they made museums so big or they put so many paintings in them. That was a big surprise for him. What's the deal with Copkin anyway? He went to Harvard. He practices law in a prestigious New York firm. He can explode whole areas of zombies with a single corn launch. All this is common knowledge, but really, deep inside, what really makes him tick? I remember the zombie wars back in 76, says imitator raspy old man's voice. Back then, we didn't have all this fancy pea shooters and jalapenos. All we had was guts. Guts and a spoon. All right, there's the view plants. I'm going to go over the zombies. There are less of them, thankfully, because my voice is about to die on you guys. But that's okay, because this is the last episode of Plants vs. Zombies. So I really hope you guys are enjoying. Please remember to leave a like if you have enjoyed this whole entire series. It's been awesome. It's been epic. We've done over 50 videos in the last week. That's pretty damn impressive, if I do say so myself. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all of that Plants vs. Zombies action. And we'll be running right into Plants vs. Zombies 2, by the way, which I am super excited for. I haven't even opened up the app yet. I have been waiting to finish this game up. I'm going to start up the app, and we're going to be playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 blind. So I'm looking forward to that. But enough of that. Let's keep going on the zombies here. This zombie loves brains. Can't get enough. Brains, 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 day in and night out. Old and stinky brains, rotten brains, brains... Nearly past their prime, doesn't matter. Regular zombie wants them. Make no mistake, Flag Zombie loves brains. But somewhere down the line, he also picked up a fascination with flags. Maybe it's because the flags always have brains on them. Hard to say, hard to say. <coughs> uh, Conehead Zombie shuffled mindlessly forward like every other zombie. But something made him stop. Made him pick up a traffic cone and stick it on his head. Oh yeah, he likes to party. Uh, some zombies take it further, aspire more, push themselves beyond the normal into greatness. That's pole vaulting zombie right there. That is so him. Buckethead zombie always wore a bucket. Part of it was to assert his uniqueness in an uncaring world. Mostly he just forgot it was there in the first place. Newspaper zombie was this close to finishing his Sudoku puzzle. No wonder he's freaking out. He got his, um, his screen door from the last inexpertly defended home he visited after he ate the homeowner's brains! So I was right, guys. These guys all just go for and eat the homeowner's brains. So, that's a lot of screen doors, and that's a lot of brains being eaten. Football Zombie gives 110% whenever he's on the field. He's a team player who delivers both offensively and defensively. He has no idea what a football is, though. Any resemblance between Dancing Zombie and persons living or dead is purely co coincidental. Michael Jackson, by the way. Dancing Zombie's latest album... Grr, brains are blur is already rocketing up the undead charts. All right, backup dancer. Yeah, backup dancer spent six years perfecting his art at the Chewy Yard, performing arts school in Zombie New York City. Let's see here. It takes a certain kind of zombie to be in a ducky tuber. Not every zombie can handle it. Some crack. They can't take it. They all walk away and give up on brains forever. Zombies don't breathe. They don't need air. So why does snorkel zombie need a snorkel to swim underwater? Answer, peer pressure. Not air pressure or water pressure. Not to be mistaken for a Zamboni brand. Ice resurfacing machine. Zamboni brand. And the image of the ice resurfacing machine are registered trademarks of Frank Z. Zamboni Company. And, Zambo and Zamboni is used with permission. For all your non-zombie related ice resurfacing needs, visit Zamboni.com. Lol. So they just gave a shout out. Permission asked for the, Z the Zamboni. It's pretty funny. All right, zombie bobs that team worked hard to get where they are. They live together, eat brains together, and train together to become a cohesive zombie unit. All right, the dolphin rider zombie. The dolphin is also a zombie. Creepy, isn't it? The zombie shivers not because he's cold, but because he's crazy. Woohoo! Balloon zombie really lucked out. The balloon thing really works out. None of the other zombies have picked up on it. Yeah, that's true. Digger Zombie spends three days a week getting his excavation permits in order, then digs underneath, and goes the wrong way. Let's see here. Spring, spring, 
Sproing? That's the sound of a powerful and effective zombie doing what he does best. Yeah, the Pogo Zombie is awesome. Little is known about the Zombie Yeti other than his name, birthday, social security number, educational history, past work experience, and sandwich preference. Roast beef and Swiss. Bungie Zombie loves to take risks. After all, what's the point of being dead if you don't live a little? He picked the ladder up for $8.99. Ah, funny. Of, of all things, Catapult Zombie could launch with his catapult. Basketball seemed to be like the best and most obvious choice. Those are basketballs? Oh, I thought he was like firing oranges. I didn't even know that. When Gargantuar walks, the earth trembles. When he moans, the other zombies fall silent. He is a zombie other zombies dream they could be. But he still can't find a girlfriend. Imp may be small, but he's wiry. He's proficient in zombie judo, zombie karate, and zombie bare knuckle brawling. He also plays Nautica. And we have Dr. Zomboss himself. Edgar George Zomboss achieved his doctorate in thonology, th thonology in only two years. Quickly mastering thonology technology, he built his fearsome Zomba and set about establishing absolute dominance of the local subdivision. Yes, he did, guys. So that is the almanac with all of the zombies and all of the plants. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now I have showed you everything, literally everything in Plants vs. Zombies 1. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this entire series. It's uh, one of my favorite games out there, especially for the um, iOS devices. It's one of the most well-developed games in my opinion. I am very much looking forward to Plants vs. Zombies 2. I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. Uh, please uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet. If you have watched all of the episodes in Plants vs. Zombies, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me, guys. And with that all being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time for more Let's Plays. Till then, take it easy, guys. This is Coop signing out. Peace.